This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. We're so glad you tuned in to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Winter Edition of 2017. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We've got four teams we're going to show you tonight. Bluffton is going to start the show, um, taking on Lipsick, and a little bit later, Pandora Gilboa will face off against Shawnee. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Bluffton. We have Derek Swartzlander, Zane Myers, Bryce Metzger, and Alton Burkholder. And Bluffton is coached by John George. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, turning to the ladies from Lipsick High School, we have Courtney Amrine, Brenna Schrader, Elise Schrader, and Becca Flores. And Lipsick is coached by Stacy Berger. All right, here we go. We have round one, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs, so you're going to want to make sure you get those buzzers ready. Also, when you answer, please speak loudly and clearly. And if you give a name, be as complete as you can with the answer, okay? We have our judge, Mark Dickman, joining us again this year. So if we have any questions about your answers, we will refer them to him. All right, here we go. Question one. Which city has the largest Chinatown in the United States? Yes, Bluffton. New York City. That is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try? Yes. San Francisco. That is correct. Which United States state has the most lakes? Yes, Bluffton. Minnesota. Minnesota is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try this? Alaska. Alaska is the answer. All right. Mamie was the name of which president's wife? Yes, Bluffton. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln is incorrect. Lipsick is so try here. Millard Fillmore. That is incorrect. The answer is Dwight Eisenhower. All right, question number four. Name the U.S. state capital which is closest to the equator. Yes, Bluffton. Honolulu. Could you be specific? Hawaii. Correct, Honolulu, <laughs> Hawaii, very good. Number five. In which downtown are you in if you are in the loop? Bluffton. Downtown Los Angeles. That is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try it? Yes. Downtown, downtown Philadelphia. Also incorrect. The answer is Chicago. All right, question six. Seven U.S. presidents who served from 1869 to 1923 came from what state? Yes, Bluffton. Virginia. Virginia is incorrect. Here's your try, Lipsick. Yes. Ohio. Ohio is the answer. All right, question seven. Mount Mitchell, largest mountain in the east, is located in what state? Bluffton. Maine. Maine is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try? Yes. Tennessee. Tennessee is also incorrect. The answer is North Carolina. All right, question eight. What kind of creature is Spock in Star Trek? Yes, Bluffton. He's a Vulcan. A Vulcan is correct. All right. Question number nine. Name the mineral that strengthens bones. Bluffton. Calcium. Calcium is correct. And your final question in round one. What color jersey is worn by the leader in the Tour de France bike race? Bluffton. Yellow. Yellow is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one between Lipsick and Bluffton. Here is our score. We have Lipsick with 30 points, Bluffton with 40. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break.
Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Road State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu. And by QP Hamburgers. The taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we're moving into rounds two and three now with uh, Lipsick and Bluffton High Schools competing. Here's our score, Lipsick with 30 points, Bluffton with 40. That means Bluffton, you're going to start this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, even though they are all yours, okay? Portugal lies east of what ocean? Yes. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is correct. Name the U.S. state that has the highest average elevation. Colorado. Yes. Colorado. That is correct. What is the novel Alex Haley wrote about his family's history? Yes. Raisin in the Sun. That's incorrect. The answer is Roots. All right. In what country did Operation Desert Storm begin in 1991? Yes. Iraq. Iraq is incorrect. It's Kuwait. All right. Final question. Name the town where Casey at the Bat is set. Yes. Chicago, Illinois. Chicago is incorrect. Mudville is what we're looking for. All right, turning now to Lipsick. Ladies, these are your five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in. In what city is the Smithsonian Institution Museums? Yes. Washington, D.C. You are correct. Which country is the largest in North America? Yes. Canada. Canada is correct. To what sound does the New York Stock Exchange open? Time is up. The answer is a bell. All right. In 2000, how many days did it take to find out who was president? Yes. 30. That is incorrect. You were close. 35. All right, your final question in the second round. In January 2011, President Obama named who as his chief of staff? All right, time is up. The answer is William Daly. All right, we've come to the end of round two now, and the score is still close. We have Lipsick with 40 points and Bluffton with 50. We're moving into our final round. These are 10 questions, 10 points apiece. Again, get ready with those buzzers. In which city and state is the Astrodome located? Yes, Bluffton. Louisiana. That is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try it? the city. It was wrong. Yes. Houston, Texas. That's the answer. All right. Question two. Which first lady held a seance in the White House? Yes, Bluffton. Dolly Madison. That is incorrect. Lipsick? No? Nancy Reagan is the answer. All right, number three, name Shakespeare's tragic Scottish king. Yes, Bluffton. Macbeth. Macbeth is correct. When was America's bicentennial? 
Yes, Bluffton? 1976. That is correct. What was unique about General Motors' 1960s Corvair? Yes, Bluffton. It was convertible. That is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try it? The answer is the engine was mounted in the rear. All right, number six. What is the name of the hero in most of Tom Clancy's books? Bluffton. Jack Ryan. That is correct. Which U.S. novel was the first to sell over one million copies in the 1800s? Bluffton. Uncle Tom's Cabin. That is the answer. All right, question number eight. Name the play written about Helen Keller. Bluffton. Hear no evil, see no evil. That is incorrect. Lipsick. All right, the answer is the miracle worker. All right, you have two questions remaining in your game. What abolitionist is associated with Harper's Ferry in 1859? Bluffton. Frederick Douglass. That is incorrect, so we can turn it over to Lipsick for a try. No? John Brown is the answer. All right, last question of your game. In 2015, how old was the United Nations? Yes. 50? 50 is incorrect. Lipsick? Yes. 75. That is incorrect. I thought you had it, but it was five off. It was 70 years old. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Bluffton and Lipsick. Our final score, Lipsick, you had 50 points. Bluffton, 90 points. Congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. And we want to thank you, Lipsick, for joining us this year. All right, we'll be right back with a game between Pandora Gilboa and Shawnee right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we're going to start a new game now between Lima Shawnee and Pandora Gilboa High Schools. We just wrapped up a game between Bluffton and Lipsick, and the final score there was a Lipsick with 50 points, Bluffton with 90. Bluffton will be moving on to be the eventual challenger of this game. So let's introduce you to the players from Pandora Gilboa. We have Carrie Burkhart, Wade McCullough, Sam Deitering, and Connor Dawson. And Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Lima Shawnee, we have Megana Chanamolu, Daniel Patricio Agosto, Eric New, and Zach Zaccardi. And Shawnee is coached by Janice Drerup. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. They are all worth 10 points, up for grabs, get the buzzers ready. Please speak loudly and clearly, and when you answer with the name, make it as complete as possible. Which Ivy League college is in Ithaca, New York? Lima Shawnee. Cornell. Cornell is correct. 
In which state would you find Glacier Bay National Park? Shawnee. Alaska. Alaska is correct. Name the only southern town to stay in Union hands all through the Civil War. Pandora. Washington, D.C. That is incorrect. So, Shawnee, you've got a chance. Baltimore. That is also incorrect. The answer here is Key West, Florida. All right, number four. Who was Macbeth's nemesis in Shakespeare's play? Shawnee. Macduff. Macduff is the answer. What famous brewing company owns a chain of theme parks? Shawnee. Budweiser. Budweiser is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you want to try? Um, Samuel Adams. That is also incorrect. Anheuser-Busch is the answer. All right, in what country were 33 miners trapped for over, yes, that would be Shawnee. Uh, Chile. Chile is the answer. Which U.S. holiday is on the third Sunday in June? Yes, that would be Pandora. Uh, Father's Day. Father's Day is the answer. And I think you'll score points for that one, extra points at home. All right, question eight. What conservative political organization was founded by Pat Robertson? Yes, Pandora. 700 Club. That is incorrect. Shawnee, you want to try it? Yes. The GOP. That is also incorrect. The Christian Coalition is the answer. All right, in what U.S. southern city was Coca-Cola developed? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Atlanta, Georgia. You are correct. All right, your final question in round one. What state university is located in the Nittany Valley? Pandora. Penn State. That is correct. Okay. Come to the end of round one. That went fast. Here is your score. Shawnee with 50 points. Pandora with 20. That means, Shawnee, you're going to lead this next round. You have five questions. They're with five points apiece. They're all yours, but we still need you to ring in, okay? Which U.S. president worked as a fashion model while at Yale? Yes. Ronald Reagan. That is incorrect. The answer is Gerald Ford. All right, what is the largest rodent in the United States? The beaver. You are correct. All right, what is the most widely distributed magazine in the United States? Yes. Time. Time is incorrect. The answer is Reader's Digest. What is the introduction to the Constitution called? Yes. Preamble. Preamble is right. And your final question in round two. Give the decade in which the first model of a DNA molecule was produced. Yes. Uh, the 1950s. You are correct. All right, moving over to Pandora Gilboa now. Is everyone set here for your five? What government program gives retired workers financial benefits? Social Security. You are correct. Name the U.S. city that is called the rubber capital of the world. Akron. Expand the name. Akron, Ohio. Ohio. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. The Euro Tunnel connects which two countries? Yes. Um, England to France. That's correct. Give the iconic line from Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s most famous speech. Yes. I have a dream. That is the answer. And your final question in round two. Identify the H word movement associated with flower power. Horticulture? That is incorrect. It's actually hippies. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's our score. Shawnee with 65 points. 
Pandora Gilboa with 40. We'll be back with our final 10 questions right after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu. And by QB Hamburgers. The taste of Lima since 1928. We've got a good game going now between Pandora Gilboa and Lima Shawnee. Our score, Pandora with 40 points, Lima Shawnee with 65. We have our final round of questions here. 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. They're up for grabs. Everybody get your buzzers ready. Name the three stage rocket used in the Apollo moon trips. Yes, Lima Shawnee. Uh, the Saturn V rocket. Saturn is correct. In which city is headquarters of the United Nations? Shawnee. Uh, New York, New York. That is correct. What is the second largest of the Great Lakes? Shawnee. Lake Huron. Lake Huron is correct. Question number four. Who is the current Ohio governor? Yes, Shawnee. John Kasich. John Kasich is the answer. What fur trapper founded the frozen food industry in the United States? All right, time's up. The answer is Clarence Birdseye. All right, number six. Who created the impressionist painting Water Lilies? Pandora. I'm sorry? Man, man, Monet? Yes, do you have a first name? Claude. That is the answer. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Question number seven. How many books are in the Chronicles of Narnia? Yes, Pandora. Seven. Seven is the answer. What composer wrote the theme for Star Wars? Yes, Shawnee. John Williams. John Williams <laughs> is the answer. All right, do you have two questions remaining in your game? Which planet is second closest to the sun? Shawnee? Venus. Venus is the answer. And your final question in your game, name the legislative body of British government. Lima Shawnee. Parliament. Parliament is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Pandora Gilboa and Lima Shawnee, and here's the score. Pandora, you had 60 points. Shawnee, 135. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Pandora, thanks for joining us again this year. And we want to thank you at home for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.